Hello, everybody. This is Pottery 2, the elevated plate. Um, in, this, this, in this project, you are going to be doing, again, two projects. Sorry about that. Um, the first one is just, again, kind of a warm up. Um, you're going to do the same project we did as a Pottery 1 student, where you just do a dinner plate, you know, four pounds of clay, 10 inches, you know, kind of the same thing. Make that fluffy pancake, um, let it sit. Um, you got to kind of give me a heads up because I have to so kind of babysit it for you unless you can come in kind of in the morning the next day uh, so I can flip it. So remember, this is not a project you can start on a Friday uh, because somebody has to be here to flip it uh, the next time um, they're here the next day. And, and, um, and unless I'm coming in, you can ask me, you know, kind of depending on the situation, maybe I can come in just for you and, uh, and make that and flip that for you so you can uh, trim it on Monday. So otherwise, you know, just try to wait, you know, until Thursday or something else um, if possible. And if not, we'll figure something out. Um, so on this one, um, again, there's two parts on it. You make that dinner plate. And then the other part comes in that's the kind of the more year two part is the elevated plate. So on that one is like you go back to the goblet concept where you make this stem. Um, and this is kind of like a serving platter of sorts where it's a plate that's elevated. And then you might be able to put, you know, like a cake, you know, or a bowl of fruit you know, or something, or, or fruit arrangement, I should say, um, on there. So it's elevated on the dinner table, you know, and it just has a little more um, prominence. Um, you do have to be careful on your base. You don't want to have it super small and make it really tipsy. Um, you do want to kind of have a little bit wider as, as you design it. Um, and there's a, right now, there's a little bit of flexibility with it because um, obviously, you know, looking at this sheet, um, I'm still kind of developing it uh, to, to a degree. We've done the project before, um, so it does work well. You know, we're looking at three to four pounds of clay for the plate because that really depends on how large you want this. And about a pen, you know, again, kind of pound for that stem, you know, possibly more depending on how lar how tall you want to have it um, kind of thing. And um, and just kind of kind of go from there. Um, in terms of video demonstrations, um, I will probably have a demonstration just uh, on me showing you how to do this one. So that's coming soon. Um, or it might even be there by the time you watch this video. So who knows? Um, and then again, there'll be some sort of art history focus, you know, or something that'll, that'll add a little meat to the bones um, on this kind of a project. So um, in terms of basic directions, <clears throat> you know, start with that dinner plate and um, make that 10 inches, you know, trim it. Then you make your top for your elevated plate. And again, you wait a day for the trim. Now that time you trim it, you don't trim a foot. You keep it nice and smooth. You still need to trim it because you want to go in and give it that curve. Um, that you get on the plate and um, and then and then be able to uh, you know take that off and then still thin that out a little bit so it'll sit nicely on on your um, on the stem of which you make next. Now just like in the goblet, you'd have to unless you want to let it sit for a day um, and dry a little bit, um, you can kind of speed that process up and uh, um, use a blowtorch or a heat gun um, to make sure that it can handle the weight. Um, the tricky part on this one, um, is that you'll have to pull out a lazy Susan. Um, so those are those metal um, things that that turn uh, that we have in class that people grab the top and the bottom falls and you laugh at them because they're they don't know how to hold it right. And you have to be able to sit on that so you can turn it to make sure that stem is centered, you know, on your plate. And then you got to slip and score and, and attach that together. Um, so maybe I'll have a demonstration. Otherwise, we'll just kind of walk together, um, walk through that together in class. So. Other than that, um, grading simple. Um, again, just the dinner plate, you know, 10 inches well trimmed, elevated plate, you know, the stem and plate are well constructed and the elevated plate is centered. So um, other than that, um, again, just good luck on the project and let me know if you have any questions.